Hey, good morning guys. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel, Creating in the Waiting. I'm coming on to do a flip through of the journal that I just created. Um, I use Stamperia paper, lots of vintage laces. Um, I try to keep this one pretty neutral um, using ivory, white, cream, beige, not too much color. So that was a little challenging for me. But this one is two signature. She's absolutely beautiful. Um, the tassel is Sari Silk from India. Cameo and Charms here. Beautiful. About to raffle this one in my group. So I wanted to come on and do the flip through. Beautiful little cameo dangle with a key on the lace. So I love this lace. It's like stretchy. And the color is so pretty. I get it from Two, uh, two Sister Jam. Stacy and Dana, beautiful. So shabby flower, she lays super flat, lots of writing space in her beautiful beaded pen. One of my favorites. I get the pens on Amazon and then you have to have the beads big enough to fit on here, which is the challenge. And I literally hunt for these. So I'm hoping I can get all of her beauty here. Um, I used authentic vintage ephemera in her as well. So super simple, easy, just very pretty little card here. And I just put a vintage postcard in there. And then of course this will wrap around and it'll tie again. And then the cameo dangle is on there. All of the guest checks and guest receipts, all of that I make. So I run these through the printer and put the images on them. Shabby cluster down at the bottom. I love Stamperia. The way it feels is beautiful. This is a pocket also. Got vellum here. Custom pocket. Vintage uh, flash card that I did the transparent sticker and sewed around the edges. Backed with tea stain paper. Another little guest check there. Handmade paper back here. It feels so nice. Most of the pages, if not all of them, have stitching. I've run through the sewing machine. We did these in my group. We were doing, for the Let's Make It Monday, we did side strips. So just took the scrap pieces of the papers and clustered them or layered them in a little way like that. Love that little guest check. That's probably like the only color in this. Vintage ledger here I get from Redeemable Junk, her Etsy shop. This is my porch prints. I love this um, digital kit. is so pretty. I'll definitely be using that again in the future. Doily that I printed on. Little book page pocket. It's a double tuck. Have the altered playing cards here backed with stained paper. And then this... Um, is just a big card that you can write on. I did some, what was this? I think this was polyester that I had. I was gonna say it was chiffon, but I'm <laughs> I'm out of chiffon. I haven't used it in forever. I was looking for my rolls of chiffon and I didn't have any. <laughs> so, um, vintage doily and then the little cameo down at the bottom. Beautiful paper, Misty's. Very simple, very beautiful. So this is a French book page, double belly band, Stamperia papers. That's part of my master board. I just turned into a journal card backed with tea stain paper. Love this. So just a little scrappy, love that sound. Um, notepad here that you can write on. I literally just stapled it, put a, a wax seal in, and that was it. Vintage photo. So this is piano paper back here. Got a little button card. Beautiful. Custom doily beading down at the bottom. I love these beads. I forgot that I had them. They match perfectly. Another pocket. And then the vintage flash card. Everything that I'm pulling out is back with tea stain paper and I've sewed around the edges. Um, this was a glassine sack that I printed this image out onto. A 
Love these. Little doily. I want to write in this one. I wanted to write in this one so bad. Handmade tag. So this was like, you know, those little white tags that you can get. And then I just printed that image out onto it. I'm not even going to try to lift that up. And then the little lace here just to create, you know, a double pocket. That was part of my master board. Vintage page there. Vintage postcard. Made that little guest check. I love this one. So a little envelope with lace, die cut, trim, button. Another little tag with the master board. Cool waterfall here. Beautiful little charms and a pearl down at the bottom. Literally. And it's back with the tea stain paper. So that you can write on it. And you can write on this also. Vellum, second signature, vellum, love that pocket, again, that image is the only color pop. That's where my guest check was supposed to go. So <laughs> I was doing a flip through in my group and I was like, where does this guest check go? Well, this had a guest check behind here, so I'll have to put one there. But I love these little clusters. I put the little Brad clips in the center, so didn't even use any glue. Just put the Brad clip. Vintage paper. This one, this journal came out so pretty. Um, it, again, it was a challenge though, but I just love, you know, that there's a lot of writing space, just enough tucks and pockets, and the colors. You know, it just looks very nice. Vintage Rolodex, and then another little vintage postcard. So I like the what this says. It's um, from Thailand, but this is one place you will never believe, even when I tell it to you under oath. This country is hot and humid. of real poor people but they try to work everything cheap except American bourbon send more money <laughs> the breakfast club I wanted to keep this one so bad I don't know I still might take that one out I just I don't know why I like that postcard so much little wax seal and an embellishment down at the bottom my porch prints and doily pretty flower vintage doilies buttons and then the that's like you know old letters i put that image onto the doily another little side strip okay so i have a tutorial on my youtube so it's you know on my channel doing these and i love i love these it's gonna probably be my new obsession perfect for happy mail when i do my bonus spends birthday gifts or you know whatever so this pocket is loaded with just little goodies super fun super duper fun i had been wanting to do those totally inspired by two young ladies in my group embossed little paper this is the beginning of the piano roll. I just created a tuck, did two different trims here, the little satin bows, and then this right here is a pocket also. Just extra little writing paper. Just a little cluster down at the bottom. Side strip, vintage ledger. This is stuffed with stuff. So this is part of my little fabric snippets. Vellum. Piano paper lace to create a double little tuck here. Vintage ledger scrap. 
so that is her. She's two signatures. I sewed her in with just a three pamphlet stitch. Um, but she is ready for her home. I hope you guys enjoyed this flip through. I will link my group in the description box below. Um, I would love for you to join us. Bye.